Well, here's a very sad sight. This is a pipe you've probably seen on my videos, and the tenon snapped off. I uh, had it sitting in my pocket just to take outside. I usually don't keep them there. And my wife grabbed me and said, hey, can you just grab the baby for a second? I said, oh, yeah, great. And I grabbed her, and I sat down with her. And when I sat down, off she popped. Um, but I'm going to fix her. I've done a video about this before, but for those of you who are new, uh, this might be interesting. It's probably not the most professional way to do this repair job. Um, but what I've done is I've pulled this uh, tenon out with... Uh, you basically just put a screw in there and then grabbed the screw, twisted the screw in, and then uh, pulled it out with some pliers. So I basically need to put these two pieces back together. I'm going to super glue them, but in order to make that bond stronger, I'm going to use a piece of metal tubing, uh, which is an old antenna. I went out, and for just $4, picked up this old crappy phone, just because it had an antenna on it. And because it's telescopic, you can get all different sizes and you find the whichever size piece fits in there best and you want to get a nice friction fit on the inside and then throw some glue in there as well and then mash it all together and that'll work so here we go alright well I got this antenna taken apart snipped off both ends of it you can see right here then I've discovered this piece is the one that best fits. And so what I'm doing is it's a little bit too tight. I've got a needle file. This one happens to be a curved needle file that my father-in-law has. And I'm just opening up that inside channel just a little bit so that I can get enough of this to stick in there and help it hold. All right, here I've got the little piece cut that I'm going to use to reinforce this. And I'm uh, using that same needle file just to clean up the outside from the cutoff wheel of the Dremel so there's not like a little sharp bit there that's going to catch pieces of pipe cleaner and stuff. All right, here we go. I've got this all set up, fitted together. It's a pretty tight fit. Um, you can see I've just left a big gap there, but I can stick some uh, super glue down in there. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it off. I'm going to spread the super glue around here and shove it all together. Alright, got super glue all around that joint. Just need to line it back up now. Give it a good tight shove in there to get a good friction fit. I'll use a little bit of paper on the edge of a bottle cap because that's what it was sitting right here. Just kind of clean this edge up. Where the glue is squeezed out. I want to just push it in real tight, get a good tight fit there. And hopefully that should do it. Last of all, just to ease pressure on this joint, I'm going to sand the tenon just a hair to uh, give it a little bit looser fit so it doesn't put as much pressure on that part where it snapped. Um, as you can see, you can. Uh, you can look down through there you can really barely see any restriction from the metal it's uh... you know is a good size and uh... Pr won't have any problem at all passing a cleaner so i'm glad to have this pipe back in action and hope you enjoyed this little video about how i did that 
Cheers. Well, we did 10 minutes for that glue to set. And here she is, just about as good as new. So I'm glad that this pipe, special pipe given to me by a good friend who carved it for my wedding gift, has survived. And I'm glad I've got my Pure Virginia pipe on this trip as well.